Hey gang, we're on the on the Vanguard and we're on the crankshaft side and uh, I'm just going to throw the clutch on. When you pull the clutch off, there's a spacer. Throw that spacer on. Line up your keyway with the keyway on the... I'm not holding my tongue right. There we go. Line the keyway up. And that's just going to spin, don't worry about that. Put your bolt in, tighten that sucker down. Now that side's ready. We'll spin it around. We'll put the drive shaft coupler on, show you how that goes. Okay, gang, we flipped the engine around. We've got the drive shaft shaft coupler. Now, with the uh, small engine warehouse uh, engine swap kit that they give you, they include the two bolts, two excuse me, two bolts that you'll need to torque down onto the coupler that they have made to work with the drive shaft coupler. So just take it, get your bolts in, get it in position, start them out. Make sure it seats fine, and it is, it's seating all the way down. Get your impact, drive them home. And just go lightly on the first one so that you're aligning everything. And also remember, you're going into, I believe it's aluminum. I'll grab a magnet, let's make sure. Yep, it's a piece of aluminum back there, so you don't want to over torque these. So make sure that uh, you keep that in mind because it is a steel grade 5 bolt going into aluminum. There's a lot of thread engagement, but you still want to be careful. Catch you on the install. Okay, guys, guess what? It's just a tiny little screw up, but I wanted to show you what happened and why uh, I've got this on wrong. I have to rotate it 90 degrees and move it. And the reason is. When I go to put my grass catcher screen back on, the holes do not line up. So all I've got to do, pop that off, rotate it 90 degrees. So check your orientation before you put it on and don't get in a hurry like Zippo just did. Later. Okay gang, we've got the mounting surface ready. We've got the engine ready, sitting right here. And I do want to tell you, there was only one little oops on this. And I'm going to zoom in here so I can show you. Um, in the previous clip I told you I had to reorient this in order to get these screws, hold, screws to line up with the uh, blower. Not true. If you look right here, you can see where the original mounting hole is. No matter which way I oriented that drive shaft coupler, that screen was not going on right. So just a tiny little flub, no big deal. Uh, I just drilled three or four new holes got the screen on not a deal breaker but uh, now we're getting ready to set the engine in so stay tuned for that